Problem 18 is a typical AMC question. This idea has been repeated in a lot of tests, AMC 8, even different tests. Uh, basically, it says these circles are concentric. That means all of them are starting from the so clear in the picture. This radius from here to here is 1. This one is again 1. This one is again 1. And the shaded portion is equal to unshaded portion and is asking for this angle over here. How many degrees is that? It's going to be one of these numbers over here. Okay, so before I actually try to do this one, let's go how do we find the area of a donut shape or a bagel shape. Let's go and just uh, uh, check that and then we come back and deal with this question. Okay, now how do we find the area of this donut bagel shape? Uh, we don't have a specific formula for this, but uh, all we need to know and all you need to know is the formula for area of a circle. And uh, what we do here is just pi times radius times radius. So you multiply it by radius, you multiply it by radius again. So we write it as pi times r squared. Okay, that's how do we do area of a circle. Now, how many circles do you see in this picture? Okay, we see two, right? So, but what is the area of this donut shape? It's going to be the big one minus the small one. So, so for example, I have to assign some numbers here. Imagine the radius of the big circle, the, the black one, the bigger one is three. Then what would be the area of this black one? All of this would be pi times three times three. Okay. People usually write it like this, pi times three squared, but it's actually three times three, nine times pi. So it's actually nine pi. If you're beginning, like at first, writing numbers like this is so weird because it's just like, why don't, why can't I write it just 3.14 and then multiply them? You can, but you waste your time, okay? Because later, pi is not even important. We're going to simplify it. If you multiply it by 3.14 at this part, you're fine. It's fine. You're just wasting time. That's why we don't do it. Okay, so I'm just going to go write it as 9 pi. Now, we also have to find the area of the smaller circle, right? Imagine this is only the radius here is one unit. And we want to find this area over here for this one. It's going to be pi times 1 times 1. 1 times 1, 1. And 1 times pi, pi. So I'm going to write it here. So pi times 1 times 1, of course, is pi. Now, what is the area of this donut? It's going to be this big circle minus the small one. It's going to be non pi minus 1 pi. It's actually going to be 8 pi, right? So I'm going to write it like this. We're going to go 9 pi minus 1 pi. It's going to be only 8 pi. Now, if you want the answer in decimal value, you could go, okay, it's going to be almost eight times three. So the area of this part is really about 24, 25, but we don't need this, okay? We just keep this as eight pi. So now this is the basics, you just had to know this. And with this information, you are able to answer the question. Let's go in, deal with it. Now, the question is saying, suppose the shaded and unshaded regions are equal in area, okay? So now let's go for the regions. The smallest one over here, okay, the radius of this is one, okay, and it's completely unshaded, okay? So we just did it previously. It's gonna be one times one times pi. So first, the unshaded part is pi. Now let's go for the next one. It's going to be this one, the bigger one, what is the radius of this? The radius of this is 2. Okay. So it's going to be this big one. What is the area of this? 2 times 2 times 
pi. This is going to be 4 pi. But we also need to subtract what is inside. Minus 1 times 1 times pi. It's going to be 3 pi. Okay. So this 3 pi is going to be this region here. This one is 3 pi. Okay. Let me also write it here. Now, which one is more? Shaded and unshaded. Shaded is already more. It's 3 pi. This is pi. Now, we also need to go and find the third layer over here. What is the radius of this? 3. What is the area of this? 3 times 3, 9 times pi. 9 pi. Minus, okay, the smaller one, right? Minus this one now. This was 4 pi, remember? 2 times 2 times pi. So, what does that mean? That means all of this last layer is 4 pi, okay? All of this is 5 pi. So, we're going to imagine we're going to cut this 5 pi and give them to these two groups. When we do that, they need to be the same, right? They need to be equal. So let's go. I have this five pi over here. Mm, let's give it, for example, from here, let's give three pi to this. If I give three pi to this from this five pi, two pi will be left, I give two pi to this. Are they going to be equal? This one is three pi, was pi. I added three pi. It's going to be four pi. But this one is three pi plus two pi, five pi. So I couldn't make them equal. So I need to divide this and cut it differently. So, so how should I do this? What if I go, for example, give this person four pi, and it will be only one pi left to give to this one. So 4 pi plus 5, this one will be 5 pi. But now the problem is this one is 4 pi. So how do you do this? How should we do this now? Okay, the thing is, okay, I will have to give this one 3.5 pi. What is 5 pi minus 3.5 pi? It's 1.5 pi. So I give it to this. Now, okay, this is going to be it. So now this one, 3 plus 1.5 is 4.5 pi. This one is again 4.5 pi. So I made them equal. So what does that mean? That means I need to cut this 5 pi that I have in these ratios. Okay, let's look at here. So this one. All of this was 5 pi, and I this portion of it is 1.5 pi, right? This is only 1.5 pi, okay? All of it is, all of this, I'm going to just go with red, okay? Pay attention to the colors. All of this is 5 pi, right? Remember, all of this. The red one, I think my microphone got muted. I don't know if I recorded everything properly. So I will just have to say it again. Uh, all of this, all the big, this, this part is fine pine, the red one. And the blue part is 1.5 of it. So I could write it like this. 1.5 pi over 1.5. So the ratio is going to be 1.5 pi over five pi, 
just like this. Okay, now we need to simplify this. Pi is canceled with this pi. So this one will be 1.5 over 5. So we need to get rid of Now we need to get rid of the decimal value, 1.5 over 5. To get rid of the decimal, I multiply both of them by 2. So what I'm going to get, 1.5 times 2 is 3, 5, point 5 times 2 is 10. So the ratio here is 3 over 10. The ratio of this blue part over all the red part is 3 over 10. Now we know that a full circle is 360 degrees. So what is this portion over here? Okay, so it's going to be 360 multiplied by 3 divided by 10. I'm going to divide it first. This will be 36. And 36 times 3 is going to be 108 degrees. So this portion here, which belongs to this angle, is only 108 degrees. So this is 108 degrees. Because 108 is 108 degrees is 3 tenths of a full circle.